Hello, I'm Eric Smythe of Cloudwalker Tea, and today I'm going to be making Taiwanese oolong. First step in preparing oolong, or any other type of tea, is preparing the water. And oolong tends to do best between about 90 and 95 degrees Celsius. Next, we have to warm and rinse all of our tea utensils, starting with the teapot. our tea filter and pitcher and from there we can go on and rinse and warm our tea cups this is a uh, smelling cup and a sipping cup there are a number of ways you can go about rinsing them, you can use tongs when I'm making tea for myself I do it in the simplest way possible There are a lot of different styles in what we call Kung Fu tea brewing. It's quite idiosyncratic, so it's really up to you how you want to arrange your utensils and whether you want to use a smelling cup or a pitcher or whether you want to pour directly into the cups. There are a lot of different views on this, and really it's a personal choice. Next, we put our leaves into the pot. I've got about a teaspoon and a half here. The amount of leaf you'll use depends on personal preference and also on the size of the teapot you're using. This is a bit larger pot than I'd normally use for just myself, so I'm using a bit more leaf. And we rinse our tea leaves. You don't need to fill the pot all the way up, just a, a quick rinse is good enough when you're dealing with clean tea. The rinse is both ceremonial and also functional. As far as function, it serves to wake up the leaves and help them to start to unfurl uh, in anticipation of the first steeping. And then, as far as the ceremonial aspect, it shows your guests that the leaves are clean and that you respect them by, by washing them. It's also symbolic of rinsing off the dust of the outside world. Next comes the first steeping. The first steeping will be about 20 to 30 seconds. And could be longer based on how strong you want your tea. I pour over the pot both before and after pouring water into the pot. This helps to maintain an even temperature. And I find it produces the best result. Generally in Kung Fu tea you'll see that people don't speak while they're pouring the water or often won't speak enti entirely throughout the whole process. Uh, this depends on how seriously you want to take it. But uh, we say if you're pouring the water then it's best to, not to speak because otherwise your consciousness and your mind will enter into the tea and sort of corrupt the brew. It's a bit of, bit of superstition and a bit of esotericism I suppose. Just wait a few more seconds. What we're looking for in the tea soup is a bright luminous green. If your tea comes out strongly yellow, then this may indicate that you're using too much leaf or that the water is too hot. Most often it will be that the water is too hot. We'll see what our result is. And with oolong, we tend to pour a lot higher than pour. This is to aerate the, aerate the brew. We we'll gen generally tend to make it taste better.
minus 3. Pour. We pour into the smelling cup, and then from the smelling cup, sometimes people will tip from one into the other. I just pour it in and smell. The reason why we use a smelling cup is we say that half the tea is in the fragrance, and so if you're not smelling your tea properly, you're really missing half of the experience. And this tea can be steeped at least ten times, and with a good tea like this, the aroma and the flavor will change rather distinctly from, from each steeping, one to the next. Anyway, thank you for joining me.